Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming, and welcome to another episode of My Waifu or Husbando is Better Than Yours. Each episode, we will be putting two heroes into the spotlight and see who reigns supreme over the other. First, they will be judged by all of their attributes, which includes their stats, weapons, skill, etc. Then, we will put them into a battle simulator and see who's the better one when head on. Not only that, we will be also giving them their best possible skill build and put them into the ultimate mass battle showdown to see who will be crowned the winner of My Waifu or Husband. It's better than yours! Let's not wait any longer and introduce our contestants! Standing on the left corner, a member of the Order of the Heroes, the dear sister of Alphonse, the Princess of Asker, Sharina! And standing on the right corner, the newest member of the Order, the second princess of the Kingdom of Nifil, the Princess of Ice, Fionn! Two blonde beauty from the Order. It's a pity if we don't give them the treatment. And here we go. Obey vs New Bay. Fancelo vs Lecter. Two princesses representing their kingdom to see who's the best waifu. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Round 1, Stats and Skill Let's start with their base stats total. Sharina has a BST of 158, and Fiom's BST is 164. The first point goes to Fiom. What about their rating after weapon and skills? Sharina's rating is 177 and Fiom is 180. 0 2 to Fiom. Next is their hit points. Sharina has 43 HP and Fiom has 39. Sharina scores a first point 1 2. Let's look at their attack now. Sharina's attack is 32 plus 16 and Fiom is 30 plus 16. Sharina equalized 2 2. What about their speed? Who is the faster unit? Sharina has a speed of 32, and Fiom has 31. The Princess of Asker takes the lead. Now, let's look at the defense. Sharina has 29 points in defense, and Fiom has 30. The score is back to a draw 3 3. Last, their resistance to magical damage. Sharina has a resistance of 22 and Fiom has 34. Fiom takes the lead again. After looking at their stats, Sharina is trailing behind by one point. The match is still far from over as she could still catch up with the weapon and skills. Next, shall we look at their weapon? Sharina wields the legendary Fanceler that has a might of 16. It also comes with a threaten attack 2 like effect. As for Fiom, she wields the Iceland's Lepter that also has a might of 16. The weapon allows her to counter-attack disregarding distance of foes. Whose weapon is better? It's not that hard to figure. Another point for Fiom. There's a few areas that we won't be comparing such as the Assist, Special and Passive B, since one of them doesn't have it. However, we will still briefly go through it. Sharina has Rally Attack for Assist, a skill that grants target adjacent ally a plus 4 in attack until the end of the turn. And Fiom, she has a unique special called Ice Mirror that reduces damage from 2 spaces away by 30% with a cooldown cost of 2. And if this skill triggers, the amount of damage reduced will be added to her next attack. Not only that, Fiom has Shield Pulse in Passive B. It reduces special cooldown count by 2 when paired with a special and further reduces damage received when special triggers. Now, let's compare their last two passives. In slot A, Sharina has speed plus 3, a skill that grants the holder a simple plus 3 on speed. As for Fiom, she has attack defense bond that grants her a plus 5 attack defense during combat if she's adjacent to any ally. Quite obvious, attack defense bond is better. Fiom continues her streak. And what's left is passive C. Sharina has fortified defense that grants adjacent allies a plus 4 defense at the start of a turn. As for Fiom, 
She has a drive attack that grants allies within two spaces a plus three attack during combat. According to the link here, Fortify Defense is rank B, and Drive Attack is rank S. The last point will go to Fion. And this concludes the fight for round 1. With a score of 3 against 7, the winner of round 1 is... Fion! Come on Sharina, don't give up yet. There's still 2 rounds to go. Anyway, shall we move on to round 2, Head On Fight. For this segment, I'm going to use the FEH Damage Calculator by Andu Krandu this time, since Kagero Chat has not updated theirs. First, we're just going to let them browse with their default skills, IV with no buff. Let's have a look at the result. It seems none of them gets to take down their opponent in one round of combat. Even after two rounds, both of them would still be standing. So, it's a draw. How about we give them their recommended skill build? For Sharina, Fancelor, Fury, Lancebreaker, Moonbow. For Fiom, Laptal, Steady Breath, Quick Repose, Glacis. And the result? Because of Lancebreaker, Sharina managed to take Fiom down both during initiation and defend. But in the case that Sharina doesn't have Lancebreaker, Fiom would be able to KO her with Quick Repose during defending. The difference of their speed is only a point and they will need some sort of buff or passive to be able to take their opponent down in one turn. Even by giving them seals or weapon refinery, as long as they are on equal terms, there won't be a clear winner. With such outcome, I would have to declare the result of round 2 to be a tie. Before we proceed to the final round, let's recap back the result. Fiom has one win in hand compared to Sharina with none. All Fiom needs is a draw to guarantee her victory. Could she claim the title? Let's find out in round 3, Mass Battle. For this round, we will be using the Mass Battle Calculator by Andrew Krandu to calculate how effective are they against all the other heroes. However, there will be a little change on how we determine the winner. Instead of looking at only their kills, we are going to consider their draws and losses too and the result would be in the form of percentage. Here's the formula. First, we will calculate the result with their default build. And Sharina draws 64, loses 44, and wins 87. What about Fion? She draws 24, loses 33, and wins 138. Let's convert it to percentage to have a more accurate reading. It seems Fiom got the higher winning rate with 76.9 compared to Sharina with only 61. The result is mainly due to her ability to counter all range. What if enemy attack first? Would Sharina perform better that way? She draws 67, loses 34, and wins 94. On the other hand, Fiom draws 23, loses 30, and wins 142. After conversion, Fiom still has the higher winning percentage. Therefore, the default fight goes to Fiom. Now, let's move on to their best build. Would Fiom continue her winning run? Let's look at the result. Sharina draws 21, loses 23, and wins 151. As for Fiom, she draws 10, loses 21, and wins 156. Let's change it to percentage. So close! Sharina leads by a mere 0.2%. What if they defend first? And here's the result. Sharina draws 5, loses 14, and wins 176. As for Fiom, she draws 8, loses 14, and wins 173. After conversion, Sharina has the better rate at 91.5 compared to Fiom with 90.8. The skill inheritance fight goes to Sharina. And with that, the last round ended in a draw. However, one of them emerged victorious after 3 rounds of battle. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this episode, my wife or husband though, is better than yours is... Fiom! What a close fight to the finish line. 
Sharina put up an amazing fight, especially in the last round. Too bad it wasn't enough to turn the tide around. If not because of Fiom's highest BST and skill sets, the match would have been ended very differently. Obey, Neo Bay, it's still Bay nevertheless. So, what's your thought on the result? Who do you think should have been the better wife? Let's discuss. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Aki Gaming for more interesting content like this. You could also leave a comment below to suggest who would you like to feature in a future episode. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of My Waifu or Husband Dog is Better Than Yours. Whoa, look at that face.